Ghost is champion. If you don't know who Ghost is... <laughs> anyway, take out on her, pick someone like Caitlyn, whose range will deny her her already weak early game even more. Plus, her traps make her Qs really hard to calculate. Draven is great at getting her off his back if she decides to engage, and his damage output is simply much higher. And Tristana will get increased range over time, giving her a very real advantage. Ash with her stun, Corky if he fights after she's used her Q, and Varus for his long range poke all make great counters as well. Vayne's passive grants her 30 extra movement speed when moving towards visible enemy champions. Champions, and this gets tripled when she activates her ultimate. We'll get there. Her Q allows her to quickly dash towards the cursor's location and empowers her next auto attack. This also serves as an auto reset, and if she has her ultimate activated, then she'll go invisible for one second as well after tumbling. Her W makes her deal true damage after hitting three autos in a single target, and this is what makes her a great tank melter. Her E throws an enemy back and will also stun them if they hit terrain when being thrown. Finally, her ultimate makes her autos hurt more, triple her passive, and make her Q turn her invisible. Its activation time is also getting increased per takedown or assist. Believe me, you do not want to mess with a late game Vayne, but her laning phase is pretty weak. Her best combo is to just hit you with silver bolts quickly, and for that, she'll auto, Q, and E to instantly strike for her W. As for spells, being the ADC that she is, she will most likely take heal, but if you find her in the top lane, which is also possible, then she'll take teleport. You will also probably be playing in the bottom lane, in which case you will also take heal. As for power spikes, you can probably guess what I'm about to say, being that everyone knows the late game monster that Vayne's are. She'll also get a small trading boost at level 3 when she can proc her W quite easily, and her level 6 is also quite the power spike, allowing her to finally engage you in lane, even if neither of you have backed yet, so be careful. There's a bunch of items that synergize really well with Vayne, but I'd have to say that Bork is an insane dueling item on her, and Phantom Dancer will allow her to melt tanks like they're butter in an oven. Thanks for tuning in, good luck in your match, and remember, she has quite the low range for an ADC, so don't allow her to get close before punishing her. Like all ADCs, she suffers a lot from CC, so save some for her in fights, and abuse her weak laning phase. Otherwise, say bye-bye to your precious LP. Ultimately, have fun doing it.